Josh Denbo, consumer attorney. I'm here to tell people about the foreclosure crisis that we're going through and that's going to get worse as we go forward into 2022, 2023, and probably 2024. That's what I'm telling you now as I do this video on October 19, 2021. So the question people really ought to be asking is, if the federal moratorium on foreclosure commencement has ended, and it has, how come we're not getting hammered with the foreclosures left, right, and center? Great question. The reason is because the foreclosure moratorium from the federal from the from the FHA and the Biden administration is over, but they have left in, they've lifted the moratorium, but they've imposed certain requirements on mortgage services before they file. They are very similar to the mortgage servicer requirements before an FHA-backed mortgage can file, and they're quite onerous to these big servicers that do nothing but process foreclosure complaints. So, instead of complying with the federal regulations. The mortgage servicers would rather deprive these consumers of notice rights and all kinds of things they'd be entitled to if the foreclosures were started in the next, before 20, end of 2021, and eat the losses for five or six months and then drop the hammer on January 2, 2022. That's what's going to happen. You're going to see a lot of foreclosure complaints filed in January. It's going to take about a quarter, meaning three months, for the mortgage servicing industry, the plaintiff's attorneys, and those kinds of folks involved in processing these foreclosures to get them all filed. And there's going to be so many that the court system in judicial states is going to be backed up and things are going to slow down. That's why the moratorium is over, but you haven't been hammered the foreclosure complaint yet. And that's the fundamental basis. That's where we're going to start this video series. Watch this space. I got more videos coming explaining the foreclosures. Listen, if you're in trouble, if you have any questions, I am in New Jersey. I'm a licensed New Jersey attorney. I know what I'm doing. If you're not in New Jersey, I have access to attorneys around the country who can probably help you. So reach out, let me know. I can probably help.